augmented human c4621 has awakened what's up everyone my name is mitchell saltzman and today i'm joined remotely all the way from japan by producer yasunori ogura to talk all about armored core 6. how are you hi there i'm great thank you i'm yasunori ogura from from software producer on armored core 6. it's great to be here how long has armored core 6 been development and what has it been like for from software to return to this franchise that was such a big part of the company for such a long time. So we have been cultivating development staff through our experience with recent titles. And there were many members of staff, including Miyazaki and myself, who've wanted to make a new Armored Core game for a long time. So really not making a new Armored Core was never really an option. It was a case of when rather than if. As to the game's direction uh, and development, in around 2018, Miyazaki and some core members of the team began initial direction and forming the basic uh, core concept of uh, AC6. And after prototyping was complete, our director Yamamura took over on the project. However, as you know, we have several projects going on at the same time within the company. So we had to get an ideal allocation of resources we had to get the right staff on board, which resulted in a slightly longer wait, but we're happy to finally bring a new Armored Core to our fans. So can you tell us a little bit about the story of Armored Core 6 and whether newcomers will be able to jump right into this entry if they haven't played any of the other ones? This is a brand new story and has no direct link to previous titles. AC6 takes place in a future where interstellar travel is commonplace not on Earth, but on a fictional planet in a distant star system called Rubicon 3. Rubicon is a devastated planet that was raised to ash in a great disaster caused by the outbreak of a mysterious new substance called coral. Activating cerebral coral control device. Which occurred half a century before the events of the game take place. At the outset of the game uh, and the story, the player learns that coral which was thought lost in this great disaster, has been rediscovered. And extraterrestrial corporate forces have begun an invasion race to acquire the rights to this mysterious and powerful new substance. So they are at conflict with the indigenous forces uh, who are resisting their invasion on the planet Rubicon. And the player, as a lone independent mercenary and AC pilot, is thrust into this Rubicon war for the corporate. So although AC6 is a numbered title, the setting and story are completely new, and we believe it makes a great first entry into the series for newcomers and old fans alike. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. So let's talk a little bit about Rubicon as a setting. Is there anything that's unique about the planet that will allow for kind of unique mission structures? that people haven't seen in Armor Core, the Armor Core series previously? There are two things we'd like to convey to both newcomers and old hands to the series. Armored Core offers two unique game experiences. First is this dynamic three-dimensional action that can only be achieved with mix. And the second is the ability to customize your own personal AC by combining multiple parts and decorating it to your liking with painting and decals and the like. So these player-assembled, player-controlled ACs are able to fly freely through the air and handle multiple weapons simultaneously and turn on a dime, dash in different directions at once. This makes for a dynamic and very aggressive combat style that makes full use of the three-dimensional space. And we feel that this has always been an appeal of uh, the Armored Core series and is an appeal of the mech action genre. For die-hard Armored Core fans, what are the elements of Armored Core 6 that those hardcore fans are going to find appealing about this game? With AC6, one area we focused on was to make sure that the customization aspect is not just about parameters going up and down and numerical values changing, but how these changes are reflected in the feel of the action as much as possible. In particular, the leg parts which control the AC's movement, you might have a tank type of legs that can perform drift turns, and this changes the very basic behavior and traversal type of the AC. We also made sure that the behavior of weapons, uh, such as the way they shoot, 
how they recoil, how their projectiles behave. We tried to make sure that this all makes a, a big difference in how the game feels and plays. So speaking a little bit about that customization, Armor Horde games have a bit of a reputation for being very complex with many stats to consider, parts to swap in and out. Uh, is there anything else that you guys are planning on doing with Armored Core 6 to make it a little more approachable for newcomers who might not be used to that level of com uh, complexity? As you mentioned, Armored Core has always been a game with many parameters and is a game where you can enjoy the complexity and depth it offers, but we feel it's also a game where you can enjoy simply by assembling your AC without thinking too deeply about it and adjust the appearance to your liking and simply get out there and pilot it and take it into combat. That said, in regard to new players, we've taken careful steps with the onboarding and level design in the early stages of the game so that players can deepen their understanding step by step, little by little, and work their way into that fun of the more complex parts. Uh, we've also prepared a training simulator where the player can learn the basics of action and assembly using sample ACs. And we've also tried to make the controls more intuitive so that we hope that those who have no experience with the series will feel free to enter and enjoy the feel of piloting their very own are there any lessons that you guys have learned over the many years you've spent developing the Souls games that you take into the development of Armored Core 6, even though they're kind of two very different genres? Armored Core 6 is an attempt to take both the knowledge and experience gained from the development of our previous titles and combine it with the fun of mech customization that the AC series has always embraced. And in this sense, we hope to create a new mech action game that is worthy of modern From Software standards. Specifically, we're developing this game with an awareness of the things that From Software has always embraced in its other action games, such as a uh, intricate map structure, combat design that allows play players to deal with enemies by carefully observing their movements, and the ability to overcome challenging situations with ingenuity and creativity. These are all, of course, things we've kept in mind with AC6 as well. Um, however, as you mentioned, the basic format and genre of Armored Core is completely different from games in, for instance, the Souls lineage. So there are no aspects of the game mechanics or gameplay that can be directly observed. You ready to climb the wall? Can you talk a little bit about your goals with the combat design and are there any kind of mechanics that players should know about that perhaps didn't exist in previous Armored Core games? In terms of points we focused on this time around, I would say that individuality of the melee weapons is one of the key points. Armored Core is mainly a shooting game at heart, and that's exactly why we had this policy of having more unique melee weapons this time around. So in addition to the well-known pile bunker and the cluster bomb launcher that you might have seen in the trailer, there are also a variety of weapons with different animations and more unconventional characteristics, such as a chainsaw and a laser lance, and things like this. In the trailer, you may have also seen a part where the core is deployed by an AC to degenerate a shockwave, and the pile bunker is then used against an opponent who is reeling back uh, from the shockwave. This kind of building combos with multiple weapons aspect is an appeal of AC6's unique assembly and combat, and we hope the players will enjoy using their creativity and asking themselves, what combination of weapons can I use to create my ideal combo attacks and secure victory? So is there any one new thing, whether it's a mechanic or a mech part or a weapon, that you're particularly proud of and are excited for players to experience in Armored Core 6? I'd like players to mostly look forward to something we touched on earlier, which is this using their ingenuity and creativity to create a combination uh, of their own making and a combination of the various parts and weapons at their disposal. So, for example, they might be dashing across the battlefield while shooting ballistic weapons and letting missiles fly in every which direction. These missiles will connect with their enemy, knock them off balance, and then they'll use their assault boost to dash in with a quick burst of speed, and finish with a melee strike. This kind of player-created combo and their own unique combination of weaponry and mobility will allow for this new aggressive, offensive style of AC combat, and we hope this is something that reinvigorates the series and 
that new and old fans alike can enjoy. Multiplayer has always been a big part of the Armored Core series. Is there anything you can tell us about multiplayer in Armored Core 6? So I believe ACV was more focused on multiplayer as the uh, last title in the series. But first of all, the main content of AC6 is positioned as single player campaign mode where you progress through a more traditional mission structure. There will be an online PvP mode where players can compete against each other with uh, ACs they have built and share their AC data and emblems of their own making with other users. Uh, but first and foremost, the story missions in AC6 are single player only. We would like players to go in there, become the lone mercenary lifestyle and enjoy this aspect of the game first and foremost. We do hope to share more details about the online aspect at a later date, so please stay tuned for that. Let's see how far they can fly on borrowed wings. All right, well, that about wraps it up. Ogurasan, thank you so much for your time. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon is set for release this August 25th on PS4, PS5, Xbox, and PC. Thanks for watching, and for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.